The purpose of this very short video is to assign a name and that name will be linear combination to an operation that you already know perfectly well. And this operation applies to all kinds of vectors, not just the three kinds of vectors that we considered so far. But I left the three headings up on the board anyway, so that you can conjure up a specific example if you would like to. All right, what are linear combinations? Well, let's consider two vectors, A and B. And once again, I'm not specifying what kinds of vectors A and B are. So this discussion is more general than the ones we've had until now. So we have two vectors of arbitrary kind, A and B. And let's think, what can we do with these vectors? Well, there's only two things we can do to them, with them. We can add them together or multiply them by numbers. Well, let's do both. Let's multiply each one of these vectors by a different number and then add the results together. So we have combined addition with multiplication by numbers. And what we have here, this kind of expression, is called the linear combination, precisely because it combines addition with multiplication by numbers. And a little bit of terminology, the two numbers in this linear combination, alpha and beta, are known as the coefficients of the linear combination. And this term, has great utility because addition and multiplication by numbers is the only thing that you can do with vectors. So we do perform this operation all the time. And whereas before we would have to say addition and multiplication by numbers, now we can say linear combinations. Let me give you one example. Remember, more than once, we considered two vectors in space and we said that you cannot get out of their plane by adding them and by multiplying them by numbers. So you're stuck in this plane under addition and multiplication by numbers. Well, now we can more conveniently say that you're stuck in this plane under linear combinations. You cannot get out of their plane by linear combinations. So there is great utility. And because it's the only thing you can do with vectors, this term becomes ubiquitous and it will be used more than once, probably several times, in just about every video from now on. In fact, until now, I've had to really pay attention to not use this term, because when you're doing linear combination, excuse me, when you're doing linear algebra, you're saying linear combinations all the time. So don't turn linear combinations into a drinking game, because you will be wasted by the end of every video. Choose a different word, like fundamentally, or of course, uh, but only if you're 21 and don't do drugs. Well, anyway, that's what linear combinations are.